Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today I've got all the RTX 3000 news you can need, starting with Nvidia releasing a new GPU, next gen GPU submitted to the EEC, the RTX 3090 GPU revealed, EK confirms water blocks are coming for the RTX 3000 series, specs get confirmed, and tons of leaks were just confirmed by Nvidia themselves. But first, I've got a giveaway thanks to today's sponsor, iFixit, your one-stop shop for electronics repair. And if you're a tech lover like me, you're probably the first person everyone calls to fix their electronics. So make sure you're prepared with the iFixit ProTech Toolkit. It's iFixit's most popular opening toolkit with over 64 bits and opening tools for fixing pretty much all of your electronics. To top it off, iFixit has over 65,000 guides for 30,000 devices, which means it's never been easier to fix your own device. And for a limited time, you can get a chance to win one of their Essentials Kits. Just visit the link in the description for a chance to win. And don't forget to pick up the Pro Tool Kit down in the description as well. Okay, it's news time and first up for today, while not exactly RTX 3000 related, Nvidia announced a new GPU that could very well be based on Ampere. The MX450 is Nvidia's new entry level mobile processor that's a bit of an enigma right now. The reason this could be Ampere is because it comes with a PCI Express 4.0 bus interface, and according to Tech Power Up, only Ampere has that. Not only that, but it also comes with support for GDDR6. It also comes with the GDDR5 option, which Tech Power Up actually found the device ID for, and at least this version is still based on Pascal. Unfortunately, they haven't found the GDDR6 variant yet, but it's definitely here. It's just odd we aren't getting much info here. Hopefully, Nvidia reveals more after their RTX 3000 launch. Next up, Nvidia's upcoming GPUs are right around the corner, and that's never been more apparent with the slew of new leaks and even official news on their upcoming RTX 3000 GPUs. So let's get to it. Starting things off, a bunch of new SKUs were submitted to the EEC by MSI. And when I say a bunch, I'm talking 29 different SKUs, all of which make up three different models. Now, as you can see, these are product code names, but as an example, the 2080 Ti was codenamed V377, so given we're talking three different models making up 29 cards, then the codename similarities, these are almost definitely their RTX 3090, 3080, and 3070 SKUs. And remember that an EEC filing can be one of the last steps to a launch, so MSI is very clearly close. Of course, the news doesn't stop there. In a new post by a user on Chipel's forum, it looks like we have our first look at the GA102-300-A1, which is rumored to be what the upcoming RTX 3090 is made from. Now I will say that this could be fake, but at this level of the game I highly doubt it. I mean we know these have to be out in the wild by now, but of course it is possible. Either way, it doesn't give us too much, but RO Game actually did a comparison with Turing, assuming the package size was the same. With that, he got a die size of 628mm squared. Now, the package size may not be the same, but copite 7 kimmy actually responded with a much older tweet claiming that was the size, so it very likely is. Next up, waterblock company EK is joining Nvidia in their ultimate countdown event with posts that go over the company's older designs. Well, a couple users rightly understood this to mean EK may have water blocks ready at launch, so they asked, and to everyone's surprise, EK responded, first with a perhaps, and later that they'll quote, have some things ready at or close to launch. Basically, for anyone into water cooling, look out for EK. Oh, and if there wasn't enough proof, RTX 3000 is definitely coming in just a few days. Next up for today, Video Cards has confirmed quite a few things on the upcoming cards. Now, before I get started, remember that Video Cards is very much a trustworthy leaker, and when they claim confirmation, that's about as good as it gets. Either way, let's get to it. First up, they confirmed that there is not, in fact, an RTX 3080 Ti. That's right, the recent rumors were correct, and Nvidia is opting for the RTX 3090 naming instead. Not only that, but they confirmed that the RTX 3090 will in fact come with 24GB of GDDR6X memory, with the 3080 coming with 10. Of course, we saw earlier rumors claiming a 3080 would come with 20GB or 16, but those could easily come later. 
And lastly, NVIDIA has done it. In a recent video, the company essentially confirmed a ton of major leaks that I've been over spanning back for months. In the video, they discussed GPU design over the years leading up to Ampere. So let's go over what they've made official. Starting things off, they flat disclosed the new 12-pin power connector, which is set to use less space than a dual 8-pin. They also mentioned compatibility with 8-pin cables, which an adapter is apparently included. According to video cards, third-party cards will likely opt for dual 8-pin connectors, so this is likely just for NVIDIA's Founders Edition cards. Not only that, but they also confirmed that weirdly shaped PCB that we saw in the original cooler leak. Some assume that the PCB was merely hidden and still a traditional shape, but the new video proves that this is in fact the V-shape we originally thought. And finally, they showed off the cooler for just a couple seconds, but it's quite obviously the design we've seen so far. This is clearly their choice, which explains why NVIDIA was so mad when the design was originally leaked. At the end of the day, it looks like a ton of very early rumors have been proven to be correct. Let's just hope the pricing gets better than what we've seen. Fingers crossed. So while that does it for today, are you excited for NVIDIA's next-gen GPUs or are you holding out for Navi? Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to check out the giveaway with iFixit in the description. And as always, have a great day!